maybe church things, maybe it is church things. Maybe it's finances or marital or friends, family. Maybe it's the weather. It could be whatever it is. You know, sometimes in life, no matter what age you are, if you're still breathing, discouragement is going to find you. That's just part of life. The question that I want to ask you tonight is when discouragement finds us, what are we going to do about it? What do you do when discouragement faces you? In Nehemiah chapter 4, I think about Nehemiah and his test that he was given by God to rebuild the wall. In Nehemiah chapter 4, starting in verse 1, we have a man introduced to us by the name of Sambalot. And Sambalot, it says that when he found out that they were going to rebuild the walls, he was angry and he was enraged. And he started mocking the Jews, saying, are they going to rebuild this by themselves? Are they going to take this, this rubbish and, and, the, and the burnt stones, and are they going to do this all by themselves? Do they really think that they can rebuild these walls? In verse 3, we are introduced to another man by the name of Tobiah the Ammonite. In verse 3, it says, now when Tobiah the Ammonite heard this, he was standing there with Sambalot. And he said, even if a little fox was to climb up that wall that you're building, it would break down and crumble into pieces. Now, I want you to think about this. Now, I do construction as a living. And I have, a, a, right now, I'm doing a traffic signal project for the city of Nashville. And people will come to me and say, I don't know if that's going to work that way. Right there, that discourages me. Not because I know it all, not because I got it right, but I got a blueprint that tells me that I got to do it. I hope there's no engineers in here, but the engineers, sometimes you got to re-engineer it. Oh, well, you are in here. Sorry, brother, I forgot you're an engineer. But that discourages me a lot of times when things do not go how it is in my head. I often think about this man, Nehemiah. They didn't have backhoes and excavators and cranes to build this wall. He's under a mission. He's under a task from God. And he has in the back of his mind, he has people saying, that wall that you're building, if a little fox climbed up it, it would break down and fall. And discouragement and opposition kept coming his way. Now, Nehemiah could have said, you know what, I'm giving up. I'm not putting up with this. I'm done dealing with this. You've been in my ear. But instead, in verse 4, it says, Lord, and he starts a prayer. He says, Lord, turn this and put this back on their heads. In life, when we go through discouragement, when discouragement comes our way, when discouragement finds us, what do we do? Do we give up on whatever task we have? I read a study today. I was scrolling through Facebook, and I saw a headline that said this. So I didn't read it. I read the headline. But it says 73% of Americans have already given up on their New Year's resolution. And when I read that, I said, what, what could be the reason? Now, I gave up on a couple. I'm not going to lie to you. I had this big thing when I first started my year. Corey Sermon pumped me up. I said, I got these three things. I'm doing it. I lasted about three days. But why? One of my things that I was going to give up was Dr. Pepper. And you can laugh, but that's true. If Dr. Pepper was illegal, I'd be in a lot of trouble. I drink Dr. Pepper from the time I wake up to the time I go to bed. And I told myself on the day of work, I said, I am not going to drink Dr. Pepper. And I walked into my office, and there's a 24-pack sitting on my desk. And the guys at work put it there. Stuff like that discouraged me. I popped one open, and there it goes. In your life, it could be anything that discourages you. I gave in to it. But on the things of spiritual matters, when discouragement faces us and opposition faces us and trials come before us, what do we do? Do we run or do we face it head on and say, the Lord is on my side, I'm not giving in? One time in my life, I asked a man, I said, you know, I don't feel as close to God as I once did. And he said, who moved? He said, look, the Lord said, I will never leave you and I will never forsake you. And if you're in a relationship with him and you don't feel close to him no more, you moved away from that relationship. He didn't go nowhere. But so much discouragement came over me. So much opposition came my way that I pushed it out of my way. I moved away from that relationship. And in order for me to reconcile and say with God, I had to humble myself and come back into the fold and say, Lord, I need your help. Lord, I'm praying to you to forgive me, to encourage me. The discouragement that I was facing overtook me. The scripture says in Nehemiah chapter 4 and verse 9, that when the people were going through this, it said that they continued to work and they continued to press forward because, here's the key, they had the mind to work. 
They had their mind set on the task. Friends, I want to encourage you tonight. When discouragement comes your way, when opposition finds you, whether you're going through it now or you're about to go through it or you just got done with it, I don't know your situation, but whatever the case is, don't give up. And spiritual matters, don't give up. In 1 Corinthians 10, 13, he says, There hath no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But God is faithful, who's not going to let you be tempted more than what you are able with that temptation. He's going to make a way of escape. You see, friends, tonight we're here. We want to pray for you. We want to encourage you. We want to help you. If it wasn't for the church family when I went through my situation, then I don't know if I'd be standing before you today. But with the prayers and with the, the cards and, the, and the, everything that went into uh, into all that, I'm here. And I thank God every day. But tonight, if you're going through opposition, if you have discouragement in your life, let us encourage you. Let us pray for you. Let us know about it. Let us know the situation. Let us know that you just need prayers. That way we can pray for you and we can, we can call you throughout the week, make sure you're doing okay. Tonight, maybe you're sitting here and saying, I've never had that relationship with God. I never felt close because I've never gotten involved in that relationship. Well, friends, tonight, why not? The scripture says, here is water. What does hinder me to be baptized? And the question is asked to you tonight. By hearing the word, believing, repenting of your sins, confessing the name of Christ, being baptized, fully immersed in water to rise again a new creature, remaining faithful until death. Friends, tonight, if you need to be baptized, let us do that. If you need prayers, if you need encouragement, let us take care of that as well. If we can help you in any way, come now. Together we stand while we sing. Jesus, I have decided to follow Jesus.